Hi friends, welcome to another weekly video from dataplatformcentral.com. This is the second video in the series which deals with the latest functions that got introduced in the December 2022 update of Power BI. In the previous video, we saw how we can make use of an index function which is one of the new functions which got released. And we took a popular uh, use case for explaining how the function works out. In this edition, we are going to take the second function, which is the window function and see how the window function can be used in one of the popular scenario, which we come across in our projects. Like the previous video, we will be taking a sample data and then we'll be seeing how the window function can be applied to that particular sample data so as to achieve a common requirement, which we come across quite often in our projects. So without wasting any time, let's go and see the sample data and see how the function can be applied over the data so as to obtain the required functionality. The sample data for this demo looks like this. It consists of the vendor sales data, which spans over multiple regions. So if you see the data, you can see that it consists of the region information, the country information and the various vendors inside that and also their total sales figures. Now, we have a common scenario where we need to find out the top n vendors based on their sales for a particular region or maybe a country. In such cases, let's see how we can apply this window function so as to get this top three vendors in this case. Let's take the example as three top three vendors inside each region. So what we have here is that we have data which consists of multiple regions. What we need to do is like we need to apply some kind of a horizontal partitioning within this so that we can get the data corresponding to each of these regions and within each of these regions we need to find out the first three vendors based on the sales figures. Now let's see how we can load this data into Power BI and we can make use of this new window function so as to identify the top three vendors based on the maximum amount of sales. So for that, let's start by opening a Power BI desktop file just like before and we will try loading this file into the Power BI desktop. So go to the start window and start typing Power BI. You will be provided with the option to open the Power BI desktop. Once the Power BI desktop opens up, let's use the get data functionality and connect to this Excel sheet. So we are going to use the get data functionality. So click on get data and wait for that get data window to be loaded. Once the get data loads, let's select Excel workbook or maybe CSV. In this case, we have CSV, so you can even select CSV for this matter. And let's select the vendor sales CSV, which is stored inside our machine. This consists of the data of uh, vendor sales based on country and region. So let's ensure that the data is correct. Once we are ensuring that the data is correct, let's load the data. So that the data will get loaded to our Power BI model. So the data is now loaded into the model. You can see that the model contains the fields that is there in your Excel sheet. Now what we are going to do is like we will as before go to the external tools, open up our data, DAX studio and we will be trying the window function inside that. Let's first inspect what the function does and then let's add the expression based on that so as to get our requirement. So let's start by typing window. You can see the window function coming. And in that intelligence, it clearly tells you like what all parameters it expects. It is expects a from parameter, from type, to, to type, relation, ordered by, blanks, and partition by. Of which some of these parameters are optional, which we will not be passing. So we will start with from. So from determines the first position. So let's start from the, the, the starting position. In this case, we will start from the first position itself. And then the type will indicate whether it's an absolute one or a relative one. So let's put absolute here. And then let's, we need top three. So from one till three, we would require. And then again, we'll pass absolute. So in this case, we are using the absolute. There are two ways in which you can pass the uh, positions. Either it can be an absolute position or it can be a relative position. In this demo, we want absolute positions because within each of these groups of a particular region, we want to get the top three vendors. It's not based on any particular context. It has to be absolute, it's not relative. So let's pass absolute for both the types. And what is that next argument? Next argument is actually the relationship. So if you want, you can ignore that because we don't we saw it in the case of index function as well. So here we are actually considering the full table itself. So let's not pass any relation. Even if you don't pass the relation, it will automatically assume the table based on the 
parameters that you are passing for order by and partition by. So the next comes the order by. So here we need to use the order by function. So once we call the order by function, we can pass the column names. So here we need to order it based on the sales. So let's use the sales column and let's order it on the descending order of sales because we want to get the ones with the highest sales first. And then the next one is the blanks parameter which will be there is only one value which is currently supported which is key and finally the partition by so we will pass the partition by we are looking for each region so we need to partition it by region so once you add this this is like a simplest invocation of your uh, window function when you try this you can see that it will only bring you the region and the sales right but you want what we want vendor also so what we need to do is like we need to add it inside as a dummy order by we need to add that column also inside it and you don't need to really pass the direction in this case so that it assumes the default value of asset now if you run this you can see that for each region it will give you three vendors so for asia you will get vendor 1, 12 7 and 1 and if you see the values this corresponds to the top three values so the first one is like uh, 7 lakh 65,431 next one is 3 lakh 45,000 and 1 lakh so if you see compare this with your uh, sample data you can see that for asia you have around five vendors of which the first three you got it and similarly if you check for australia you will get the first three that is this this and this which is vendor 31 vendor 20 and vendor 38 so if you go back and check australia it's vendor 31 20 and 30 which means the query is working correctly so this is how the window function returns you the top three corresponding in this case we are looking for one two three so it will give you top three so if you want for example if you want top two means you can make this two and then it will give you top two instead of top three so let's keep it as top three itself and we have the window function which directly gives us the result now what we need to do is like we need to think about how we can use it in our report so what we need is that we need to have some kind of a measure which will use this and determine whether because when we are using it in a report we will have a vendor in the current context we have to determine whether this vendor is one of the top three and if it is in the top three it needs to be returned so what we can do is like you can create a calculated measure using this function so let's see how we can create a calculated measure using this function the first step for that is to add a row context to it so to get the row context let's create a calculated table here so we can either use summarize or summarize columns i'm going to use summarize columns in this case and i'm going to create a calculated table which will give us the raw context for us to work with as in the case of an actual visual so to start off let's uh, add the columns that we will require we'll start by creating the region column then we have the country column and the vendor and the stock so let's add them one by one so we have added the four columns we require now we require one more column which will indicate us whether this vendor which is in the current context is actually one among the top three so for that purpose we want to make use of this window function as we already saw this window function returns us a table of results out of which we would require only the vendor information and we have to check it against the current vendor which is in context so what we need to do when you want to get a column out of a table is that we can use the selected columns function so select columns of this window function which will provide us with the table of results out of which we would require only the vendor column so let's name the column as vendor column and let's give the expression for the vendor column so that will be vendor sales of vendor so what this will do is like this will only return you the vendors which are part of the top three vendors so once we have that list then all we would require is like we need to have a if condition so here we will name this column as like say top three so see if it is a part of the top three and it will return us a value of one or zero it's a boolean column so what we can do is like we can check if the current context vendor for getting the current context we can apply max on top of it and we can put vendor sales of vendor which will give us the vendor which is in the current context or the current filter context or the current row of that table so for each row of the table when max is getting called it will return the value of the current vendor and we have to check if that vendor is in we have the in function so if max of vendor in this this contains the list of vendors which are part of the top three which is returned by this window function so if it is in that 
which means that it's a top 3 so we will return it as 1 if not we will return it as 0 and we will close the if condition and finally we can close the summarize columns now if you run this we will get a calculator table which contains all the 4 columns and then one additional column in the end which will return 0 or 1 so now if you run this you can see that it returns 1 for all the cases where that vendor happens to be one of the top 3 belonging to that region so if you see for the first, second and the third vendor, you will get 1. All the other cases, you will get zeros. This will be repeated for every region. So if you have such a calculator measure created within your report, you can use this for finding out the top 3. So now let's take this out and let's convert it into a calculated measure. For that purpose, let's copy this expression and let's put it inside a report within our power bi so let's go to the vendor sales table and let's add a new measure and in that measure we can check the same thing so let's name this top three and let's paste it so if max of vendor in this then it will be one otherwise zero. so now that it's created let's check if this is giving us the correct result let's put a table let's add the region the country the vendor the sales and finally the top three so now if you see the top three it should return you the same result so it should only return you the one for only for those cases where that vendor is among the top three now if you want to restrict this visual to show only the top three vendors you can use this in the filter and then it's you can just filter for top three is one and it will only give you the top three vendors and you can just take this out of the visual so it will only give you the values corresponding to the top three vendors for each of those regions this is one application of how you can use the window function so as to get you the calculated version another way of doing this is you can make it into a calculated column and you can use it for some kind of a custom grouping like say we can make, make it into a new column and let's name it like top three grouping and we can name it like if vendor in and if you put this grouping in this you can see that it will only return the so now if i take this filter out you will get everything here and what i need is like i will put this custom group also into it so here what you will do is like if it is part of the top three then we will return the vendor else return let's return it as others so because we are using it for a custom group now let's put it near to the vendor and let's see what value it will return you so if you see if the vendor happens to be the first three it will return the vendor name itself for others it will return it as others so this will help you to if you want to put these top three do a pie chart and then show all the others as a single bucket you can use this grouping for example if you want i can put a pie chart i can put this top three group as the legend or details and i can put the sales as the values so what you will do is like it will give give us the top three for each vendor and if you put a filter on the region it will give you only the say i want only for asia it will give you only the top three for asia all the others it will put it in a single bucket called others so it will be used here for creating such custom grouping so what you can do is like instead of putting it inside a filter you can put it inside a slice that will be from a user perspective that will be much more interactive than the filter and you can put the region into the slice and you can make it as horizontal now you select something it will only show the top three and the, all the others will be part of the others so this is the top one the next one is vendor 23 next one is vendor 25 and finally all the others will fall into the other buckets so like this for both these scenarios you can create such calculated measure using this window function and use it within your power bi model so as seen from this quick demo we can make use of the window function to return as the top three vendors identify them and then use it inside your calculator measure if you want to bring a filter which can be used for only showing the top three vendors or if you want to use it for some kind of custom grouping can add it as a calculated column so this gave you a quick demo of how the window function can be used with the absolute positions so as to handle a commonly seen project scenario now in the next part of this video we will see how the relative position inside window function works hope you enjoyed this quick demo as usual feel free to let me know your comments and feel free to follow my channel if you are seeing it for the first time hit on the bell icon to get notifications Meet you all soon with another quick tip which explains on the relative position concept inside window function. Till then, bye.